Hi everybody, welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. Here we are, back at Never Avon training base with the Tiger Moth and our pilot, Mark Whitman. Um, job number 2395. During the morning check, I noticed that the propeller isn't tracking correctly. Please fix the problem. So fix the propeller, refuel the aircraft as always. So, this is our baby. I was reading a bit more around this game last night because... Um, quite enjoying it to be fair. Uh, let's just undo this. Uh, and it was actually interesting. When we get onto the front lines and we have like a Spitfire pilot or a, a crew for the Mosquito, any mistakes we make can result in the loss of our pilot, which is quite, quite nerve-wracking, isn't it? We can then become the unlucky mechanic who works on the, <laughs> the missing air crews. Um, Plane. Right, can we slide the propeller off now? Yes, we can. Uh, and what do we have here? We have the air screw hub. Oh, that's damaged. And what's this? The. No, that's part of it, is it? Does that just come out then? No? How does one. Okay, this screws out. Yes, thank you ever so much for all the responses. Uh, this has proved more popular than I had anticipated, so that's all good. Let's have a quick look. The crankshaft looks okay. The crank front plate looks okay. Top engine cover. These all. This has got nothing to do with it, but just it's nice to have a look, isn't it? Ooh, look at this. So that's all okay. It's just got to be that piece we took off. So let's see if we can. What was that? Uh, it was the air screw hub. Let's see. Oh, repairable. No. Done. Okay, we'll just get a new one then. That's fine. That's fine. One air screw hub, please. Lovely. Okay, this should be a relatively straightforward job then, hopefully. Unless we've got to somehow um, track it. In you go. And that's completed the job. Nice. Okay, that was nice and simple, that one. I thought there was going to be a little bit more to it. But no, that was uh, relatively straightforward. Let's get that put on. So we're playing this in normal mode. There is an expert mode where we won't get any hints. We won't get the little pop-ups to tell us that the job has been completed. So, you know, you may think you've completed the job. Send the uh, aircraft out for a, uh, a sortie and then, um, yeah, the pilot not returning because you missed something. So that could be quite fun. Right, that's all looking good. Let's get her fueled up. Where's me old ladder? The bane of my life. Come here, my love. There we go. We go. Unscrew that. Another lovely day here. I just get stuck on that ladder for some reason. I don't know. That ladder doesn't like me. Full of fuel. Whoop. Lovely. And we get the jungle drums and the task completed pops up again. Whoop. Lovely. Fueling done. Oh, we better put the cap on. Um, there we go. That is another serviced... I say another serviced aircraft. It's the same blooming aircraft we just keep servicing. But I've read on the forums people are getting a bit frustrated that they're having to refuel at every, uh, every mission. But I guess that is it. You know, when it comes to the front line, when we get onto the Spitfire, we'll be rearming and refueling every time, won't we? So it's just... We need to keep the, uh, the aircraft ready for duty. Looks like a bit of oil splatter come there, but um, anyway, this looks to be job done. Fine piece of work, if I do say so myself. Let's see if Mark's a lot happier flying that now. Perfect job, look at that. Creeping up to 221, nice. Next one, next one. Okay, job number 2401. Mark Whittam, once again, our pilot. There's going to be a lot of landings today. Make sure that the undercarriage is in good condition. Okay. Okay. I guess we better jack it up then. Where's my jack? Here it is. Right. Oh, this is where it gets a bit hard. Come on. Get those muscles in. Come on. It won't go up. Go on. Oh, that's as far as it'll go. Okay, 
Right, so let's check this undercarriage. Uh, am I in? There we go. Now I'm in um, inspection mode. Oh, so the wheels are knackered. The hubcaps are fine. That's okay. Why can't? Do we need to get the wheel off to be able to inspect the rest of this? Because uh, that's not picking that one up or this cross beam here. Um, okay, let's get it all inspected first so we know what jobs we have to do. Wheel hub is fine. I'm guessing the wheel is going to be knackered. Yep. Yeah. That compression leg is perfect, in fact. That looks a bit rusty and a bit knackered, doesn't it? We may need to replace that, but I can't quite um, have a look at that. And of course, we've got the, um, the tail skid, or whatever you call it. Back here. Um, how does one... Oh, here we go. Crawl mode. It is a tail skid, and that's knackered as well. Okay, so let's get the tail skid off first of all, because we're we're down in this compromising position. Yeah, so you've got a um a crouch and you've got a crawl, which is quite nice. So C is crouch to get down to a reasonable level, then Z is to uh to uh, crawl so you can get under the uh, the tail of the aircraft like that. Crawl out, go to crouch mode, and then go to standing mode. Right, can we get that repaired? You know how much I love repairing things. Oh. No, that's unrepairable, okay. A bit apparently a bit of oil does not make metal structurally more stable. Who'd have thunk it? Anyway. Alright, so let's get this off. Wheel hub off. Get the tyres done. Right, can we do go into inspect mode? Can we... No, I thought we might be able to inspect this then. That looks fine. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll what we'll do, we'll, we'll get the tyres changed. And then we'll see if that has a uh, positive effect and the job tells us that it's it's been completed. Um, because it feels like we can't inspect these bits, which is kind of concerning in a way. It makes me feel I'm not going to be doing the job. I'm glad I'm not doing this job in expert mode because um, because then I wouldn't be confident that we were sending this off. But, stuck on the propeller. If we um, buy a new tail skid and two new wheels, lovely. Uh, we'll see if uh, this concludes that we've done a good job. And if it, had, if it does, happy days. If not, we're going to have to figure out how um, to get that sorted. Nice. Of course, if we do still have to do some more work, then it means we have to take the wheels off and everything again. But it don't matter. It don't matter. It's only a matter of a, a few clicks. It's not as if we're actually breaking our back doing this manual labour ourselves. Good heavens, no. Right, let's um, crawl down under the uh, tail and get this fitted. Brand new, spanky new one. Yep, yeah, so that was all that was needed. Okay. I must admit, I would prefer if we could check those other compression slaps or whatever they are. I don't know. Lots of um, bolts being screwed up now. Wait for the noise to stop. There we go. And I think job's done. Right. Um, happy with that? Happy with that? Just refuel it, probably? Yes, of course it is. Refuel the aircraft. The high pitched screeching coming from over there. Why won't I climb up the ladder? Hmm. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Bit of a click spot issue there. Sure. What? The uh, Spitfires haven't purred across the skies recently. Quiet. Too quiet. Maybe they've been called away. But 
but it's okay. Right, that is done. Oh no, don't put the ladder down. Put the ladder down. Put the ladder. Put the ladder down. Ah, oh, here they come. In from the sun. There they are. There they are. Oh, they're doing a different circuit, are they? Lovely. What is with this ladder? Why? I'm gonna spin it round. Maybe it's just being silly buggers. Maybe it's got a good side and a bad side. Yes, that could be it. Even though it's a, it looks a completely universal ladder. You can use both sides. Um, it seems to be very. No, oh, I see. We're gonna play this game. Oh, oh, god, this ladder. Oh, developers. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Me and this ladder, we don't get on. We're not the best of friends, I'll be honest. Oh, my God's sake! Where's the text to go and climb it? Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, enough about me and my relationship with this bothersome ladder. Um. Oh, God, God's sake. <laughs> Stupid thing, come here. Bloody thing. Shove it over there. Put it on the fire heap. We don't need that kind of... Right. Job. Done. Fantastic. Right. Undercarriage checked. We couldn't repair anything, so there was no bonus points to be earned. But we're getting up to... Uh, well, we're halfway to the next one. We'll be on that. Just... Welcome back. Another day. Another dollar. Some elements, like the spark plugs, are parts of larger assemblies. These can be removed altogether, which will be covered later but for now remember that clicking on an assembly once will select it allowing you to remove its parts you can then deselect it the assembly with the right mouse button okay I'm trying to figure out what you, yep right today's job 2413 please check the spark plugs while preparing the aircraft i.e. refueling it okie dokie as the spitfires rumble by in close formation and peel off look at that those flyboys, eh? Those flyboys. So, I should imagine we're going to have to take the entire um, top left and uh, right cowlings off. Well, we're going to do it anyway. I don't know if it's strictly necessary, but we want to get full access. So, that is what we're going to do. We may prefer to have the ladder so we can get some elevation onto this problem. Ooh. Now, does that come off, or do we have to take the front cowling off? No, oh. sir. Hello? Oh, he said no, no. sir? <laughs> Talk to me. Oh, doesn't want to play anymore. Anyway, well, let's get, let's get this off, then. Uh, I've read that there's also a little bit of a, um, a bug in the game at the moment that you know you've only got one attempt to try and fix a uh, a faulty part you, you know you take it over to the workbench and you try and oil the four pieces and you've got to get three out of four to get it working four will get it perfect if you fail that apparently if you refit it to the aircraft then take it off again you get another go but we're not going to do that because that's cheating and we don't like cheating but you know if you choose to do that kind of Activity during the world, that's fine, you know. I'm sure the government will approve. Right. Now can we get the engine cowling off? There we go. Wasn't too bad. Alright, we're really stripping her down today. This is quite nice. Look at that! Real. Right. Now we've got to take the um, the crankshaft off, do we? No. Oh, hello, camera. There we go. Right, let's get these off then. Crikey, look how many blooming bolts all the way down here. Right, okay, that looks good. We should be now. Yeah. Oh my good god. I hope we can just. Yeah, we can. Ooh, you can just hold the mouse button down and. Right, let's let him un unscrew all that. I'm going to have a bit of coffee. This is kind of like being the mechanic and watching the apprentice boy do all the hard work, isn't it? Quite like it. I'll send him to the um, the warrant officer later to get a uh, a long wait, or maybe some elbow grease. You know, 
the classic, the classic things you do with the uh, princesses. Wow! <laughs> Woo! I hope you wa like enjoy watching bolts being unscrewed. They're beautifully um, conditioned, aren't they? You know, there's no rust on them at all. Oh, oh, then I take it out. Why doesn't why don't they unscrew them at the same time when they take the bolt off? To pull the screw through. See, this is this is something the apprentice needs to learn. Otherwise, he's going to be here forever and a day. You know, there is a war on. Time is of the essence. Okay, this is just the train and aircraft. But when we get for realsies, mm. that was one of the interesting things I read. That they they obviously they're looking to do some um, further development of this game. Obviously, this is just the early access with the three aircraft. And obviously the the aircraft that they're concentrating on the Spitfire uh, and uh, the Mosquito obviously have uh, the Rolls Royce Merlin engine, which we all know and love. And obviously the everyone's sort of suggesting of aircraft that should be introduced. And obviously the obvious one straight away is the Hurricane, which is not going to be a million miles away from what the Spitfire is. So you know that's um, actually where are the spark plugs on this? I've just started stripping the engine down, and um, without realising it, I'm looking at the pistons rather than the spark plugs will be on the outside, won't they? With the ignition wires. What? Why? Why didn't anybody say anything? You let me get this far. Hang on. Um. Or do we need to? Where's the push rods? Hang on. Where's the? Let's come away from there. Because they'll be down here. <laughs> Why did no one say anything? You just let me rattle on. I was in my own little dream world. Anyway, we stripped the engine for, for no particular reason. Can we... Or can we not get them out from here? Hmm. Okay. Uh, it, no, I can't remove that. No, no, it's, it's now allowed me remove this. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, so we're, we're talking about the um, the hurricane. Um, I think yeah, yeah. Why not throw that in there because we'd love that. But um, I don't think that's going to be yeah too much of a, a stretch of the imagination from the Spitfire. It's pretty much the same thing. What I'd like to see them do is bring in some radial engines, so like the Bristols on the the Blenheim, for example. Now, with that Blenheim was early war, so. Um, and yeah, some radial engines would be quite nice to work on, uh, you know. And uh, obviously, I've got more of a preference for bombers, so I'd like to see the Wellington bomber. The um, obviously Merlin engines, you could bring in the uh, Lancaster, um, and all that kind of jazz. Right? Do we need to take this cover off? That needs to come off first. Okay. Uh, we'll rebuild the um, the engine in a minute. I don't know why I started stripping that down. I was just in a million. I don't know. I just had a million things going through my head. I'm not really concentrating on um, what I was doing. As you can probably tell, because I was stripping the engine for no reason whatsoever. Oh dear, good fun. Good fun. And there was me laughing at the apprentice boy doing silly things. All the time, not concentrating one jot on what I was doing. <laughs> and giving him the wrong instruction. Oh dear, dear me. Oh yeah, deselect, select that. But hey, if you wanted to see what was inside the engine, we just um. Oh god, you've got to wait twenty minutes for them to put all the uh, screws back on there, haven't we? Oh, why did I do that? Anyway, doesn't matter. Right, let's get this um back together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good god. <laughs> What a mistaker uh, to a maker. Okay, this is going a lot quicker. Do it at the same time. Oh, 
I wonder if we can unlock some speed screwing speed upgrades or something. I can't believe I started stripping that. Down. Why did I? Why? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know. Oh man. There are pros and cons to recording first thing in the morning. Pro, I can get the video done and have it editing during the day while I'm at work. Also, pro, it means I get to spend time with my family in the evening, not having to record. But on the negative side, oh my god, my brain has so not work woken up today. <laughs> I do stupid things like that. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I, you secretly all wanted to look at the old um, pistons anyway, didn't you? So it's fine. Oh, God, blimey. Come on, you got two hands. Do two at a time. Come on, apprentice boy. More to go. Cool, oh, crikey. Is that it? Yes. Okay, good. Right, let's get down here. Blimey. 20 minutes after I should have completed the job. Um, nothing is repairable, but we got one damaged spark plug. Five which are fine, and two which are pristine. Okay. So we need a spark plug. Uno spark plug O, please. Moses. Talk about making a job last. I take it we will only put the good ones back in. How do we how can we tell? Well that one's a fine, okay. Uh, that 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 bar is right in the wrong. Yeah, it's there. Right, there we go. Oh, okay, completed. So that was the dodgy one, that one there. And I guess it's going to take the decision out of our hands. We cut hands, oh, our hands. We can't put a dodgy one back in. It looks like it. So that's that's good because things like car mechanic simulator, you could always put um, faulty bits of equipment back on if you weren't paying attention. Obviously, it wouldn't allow you to finish the job, but you, it's possible that you could do that. Right, that's all looking good. Let's just. Inspection. Yeah, that's all yellow. That's all fine. Grand. Alright, let's just come out of unzoom. Right, let's get this rebuilt. Yeah. I watched the um, the film Hurricane the other, the other day. Uh... With the uh, the actor, the Welsh actor, the one who plays Ramsay Bolton in Game of Thrones, obviously following uh, the Polish squadron 303. Yeah, it's okay. I was a bit disappointed, to be honest with you. Um, but hey, I'm not a movie reviewer. Uh, but I just thought, you know, the, the, some of the um, I was I was looking forward to some good Battle of Britain, yeah, effects, you know, fights, dog fights, that kind of thing. But they're disappointing, to be honest with you. Yeah. Never mind. Obviously, it's more it, the, the the film is more about telling the tale of the men and what they went through, which is you know that's okay. But um, yeah, me, I watch those kind of things to see the dog fights. <laughs> I'm a child at heart. I like to see, you know, planes, dog fighting, in the skies. Love it. Uh, before we put that on. Can we um, put the the front cowling on? Uh, we need to put this on first, don't we? We've got to put the propeller on and everything. Crikey. I think that needs to come off anyway. Uh, yeah, because this needed to come out. So, you know, that was okay. We didn't mess up there. 
Oh, it's nice to get under the hood, though, isn't it, really? That's the, uh, that's the most we've done. Obviously, we didn't need to do half of what we did, but it's always nice to have a look. Put it back together, go. That's how you, that's how you learn, isn't it? That's how you learn. I like how he screws that one in, but the next one goes a turn. Oh, half a turn. There we go. Right. That's on. Let's get the side carolings on. Troublesome with that piece, but that's okay. Good. And this one. In. Jobs a good one. Oh, right, just the ladder to overcome. Oh. Find the ladder. There you go. Space button wasn't working for me particularly well. Don't fall off the ladder. Don't fall off the ladder. I think I've fallen off the ladder. Anyway, I need to fall off the ladder. Good timing, falling off the ladder. Let's get a refueled. Oh my goodness, sorry about this. This is taking... Uh, I'm glad the... Um... None of the, uh, the, the officials saw us uh, do this one. This is not the one you want to be um, <laughs> reviewed on, is it? No. Oh, making those simple mistakes. Oh, crikey. Right, but job done. Job done. Grand. We got there in the end. Fantastic. Oh, my crikey. <laughs> Check the spark plugs and a lot more besides. But we're now rocking through 300. 301. Come on, one more job. Hopefully it'll be a nice simple one. Um... So I don't have to take everything apart, which is completely wrong. Okay, another day, another job. Job 2425. Right, after takeoff, we were hit by a bird. Lucky we were able to land safely. Please fix the damage and check the compression legs. And uh, the landing was rough. Okay, so replace the windscreen, replace the propeller, replace the compression legs. Okay, good. That's not too bad. Let's have a look. Is it looking all smashed? Oh yeah, it's all cracked. Look at that. Okay, let's get the old ladder. Uh, propeller and okay, we'll do. Oh my! Look at the propeller. Crikey! Won't be able to repair that. Oh, I'm stuck on. Every so often you get like bound to something. I don't know what it is. Right, let's get this off. We know how to do this. We're pretty good at this. Must have been pretty scary. Getting struck by a bird. Did well to land with that bit of a fella. That must have been shaking like mad. Uh, make sure this didn't the actual contact didn't damage that. No, that's fine. We replaced that last time, didn't we? Um, and the undercarriage will want to be checked. Right, let's get the Oh, let's leave the propeller off for now. Um, um Yeah. Okay, how do we get the old um windscreen off then? Oh, here we go. Oh, just get get in the cockpit. Oh, wow. Uh, let's remove that then. I'm not sure this is a job you do from inside the cockpit, to be fair. But maybe. Maybe standing on the seat. Bit of splatter there. Okay. Uh, that's that done. Uh, the undercarriage was the other bit, wasn't it? It's a bit, it could use a wash, to be fair. Any of this repairable? No. No. The spin and the blade, the propeller and the windscreen are beyond repair. Okay. Let's get this jacked up. Oop. Slow down. Lovely. Right. Uh, let's go into oh. full-on inspection mode. Oh yeah, that's knackered. Tires are okay. Okay. 
Well, we did the tyres not so long ago. So uh, that should be fine. He didn't damage them, which is the good news. Right, so how does one remove this? Oh, it simply just bolts out. That's nice and simple, isn't it? Lovely. Can we inspect this? No, they're uninspectable. So we've got the ladder right in the way here. Brilliantly. Uh, let's have an inspect. That wheel is okay. That bracket or compression leg is knackered. And we can't inspect those. Right. Off you come. Obviously you would move the ladder in, in, in reality. But it's alright. The, uh, the apprentice boy's got... Um, very, um, I don't know. <laughs> He's very nimble. Alright, let's get those done. I wonder if we can repair these. I doubt it. Look at that. Looks like my models, which used to hang from the ceiling after they'd been they'd fallen off the ceiling a few times and the wheels had gone and the propeller had gone. Alright, uh, um, nothing's repairable. So we need a right compression and a left compression leg, uh, a propeller, and a front windshield. Let's stop crouching. Uh, all of that, please. We need all of this. Propeller, yeah. Why won't it? There we go. Good. All the bits and bobs collected. Let's um, get these added on. Nice. Can we swing around this side and, and put this one on? We can. Nice. Get the compression legs on first. So we can set that all nice and straight. And then we'll get the old wheels on. Ooh. It went underground then. Not quite sure how. Nice. I'll check the under under uh, the tail skid as well. We we didn't check that one. That's part of the undercarriage. Uh, I'm not sure what I zoomed in on there. Yeah, don't forget the tail skid. Good. Right. That's done. Ah! My head's stuck on the wing. Let's uh, get down here. How's this looking? Can't select it, interestingly. If I do that, and then... There we go. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Good. Good stuff. Okay. Why is it... Oh, I mean... I was going to say, why has it gone grey? What's happened? I'm in um, inspection mode. Right, let's get this windscreen on. Jungle drums, and the job has been completed. Just got to put the new propeller on. And she should be good for a test flight. Oh, although, no doubt we will need to refuel her. Good. There we go. Pop that on, get these screwed on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the cap. And the spinner. Nice. Right. Refueling is not on the job list. Good God. What's what, what is wrong with the world when we don't have to refuel the aircraft? Oh, I feel uneasy at this. Oh, the Bowser's not here anyway, so fair enough. Then she comes. Oh. Lovely. Put this over here. Get the tail off. What? Why did you put it on that side? Look, we're stuck now. Oh, stupid thing. Right. Uh, bish bash bosh. Undercarriage reworked. Windscreen replaced. Propeller replaced. That is a. I'll, I'm happy to tax that. 
Good. Job done. Boom, boom, boom. Results. Perfect job. We're getting there. We're getting there. I don't think it's going to be long. A few more missions and we might be able moving on. Potentially, I think, to the Spitfire, which should be quite exciting. But I'm sure we'll be going a little bit more in depth into the Tiger Moth's uh, internal organs as well before we before we leave her. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this as much as you did the first one. Uh, I'll be doing some more. Might be as a stream, maybe as another video. Uh, it's such a chilled and relaxing game to play. I'm glad you're enjoying it as well. Um, I hopefully they'll keep developing this and there'll be far more to come in the future. So thanks so much and I'll see you next time.